Hey everyone, it's Nicole from Crafty Craft Corner. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing great. So what we're gonna be working on today is a solo wood flower cascading bouquet arrangement. So cascading bouquet arrangement done with solo wood flowers is it laps down to about, you know, down here on your leg so far and when you carry the bouquet it'll be right here and then it just stands down so let me show you what i have on eyes so this is what we have we have some i think this is called eucalyptus i'm not sure no it's not eucalyptus i forget what it's called some kind of berry wood or something i'm not sure so anyways we have this then we have a whole bunch of these and i've already pre-stemmed everything so everything's ready to go so each one has its own thing and then um i don't need this one we can take that one out we have these beautiful beautiful cascading white flowers we, this is eucalyptus now this is definitely some eucalyptus i think <laughs> don't quote me on that um and then I also have some of these sprigs right here. I also have some of these flowers and I have that. Then we have all of our solo wood flowers. If I take them in a bunch, this is what they look like. And they are all in our, um, our vase, ready to go and ready to pull out. And then this is what I bought for the bouquet. So this is what we're going to use and what we're going to do. I got it for $3.99 at Hobby Lobby. You get two of them and you're going to put floral foam in. So I've got my floral foam right here. What we're going to do is we're going to cut it and we're going to fit it in. So let's fit you in right here. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can maybe, I think that's okay. All right, so what we have to do is take out our bouquet snow cones. I only need one. So we can put the other one off to the side. Then what we're gonna do is they come in these little clips here. So you just bend off the clips. There we go. It's that simple, it comes right off, all right? Now, what we're gonna do is take some of our foil foam, let's get rid of this. All right, so let's open up our foil foam. There we go. That's the garbage. So here we go. Here's one piece of foil foam. Now what we have to do is fit it into our bouquet. Oops, and I just broke my floral foam, my, my thing. All right, so now we're gonna take the other one out. And we're gonna pop this off, since I just broke the other one. I did not mean to break it. So you just kind of push it in to get your, your size of it. That's all I did was push it in a little bit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut this. All right, so we can take that out of the way. sponge and you just wipe off your area and that really works um you can also wipe your your knife get everything off just a damp cool ray because you really don't want this stuff on all of your your stuff all right there we go so now let's see how this is going to fit so we need to take it down a little bit garbage 
been over here. All right. Wipe off our cable. Now let's see if we can get this in. Okay, so we're gonna make it a little bit more short on the inside. See if this fits. It does fit nicely. There we go. Perfect. So we're going to clip back on our thing and it's ready to go. So everything fits in here nicely. I have cleaned off my area here. Let's take our knife, put it back over by our floral foam. Let's clean off the table because we do not want this floral foam in our bouquet whatsoever. So now what we're going to do, this is how the bride is going to be holding her bouquet. All right, I still have some stuff on my hands from that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our bigger leaves and we're going to start. So the bottom one is going to go right here. Just like that. All right. So there we go. There was that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause you guys and I'm going to grab some of my, my hot glue gun for this. All right. So I've got my hot glue gun. So what we have here is we've got the beginning of the bouquet. Then I'm going to hot glue just a little bit on each side because of the fact that I don't want it to fall out on the bride. Um, we're gonna put this one over on this side. There we go. Then we're gonna put the other one in on the other side. So we'll take some hot glue Take our bouquet. And put this in right here. There we go. So we have that ready. Now we're going to take some of this eucalyptus. And we're going to put this in. This one's going to go on the right side. So we'll just hot glue a little bit on the end. Take our bouquet. Put it in over here to give it some fullness. There we go. Then we'll take another piece up to the right side. That's the right side. Here's a good left side piece. Actually, it's a nice center piece, to be honest with you. So we will hot glue a little bit of that, turn it around, because I am working backwards here. All right, so there's that. Done. We'll take another piece. So I'm holding it up, just to looking in here in the mirror to see this. Um, okay, so this is the left side, so that works great. So we'll put a little bit of hot glue on here, and then we're going to go on the left side over here. Oops, there we go. So there you go, there so far with our cascade bouquet. Then what we have here is we're going to take, excuse me, let's do it. Thank you. All right, so what we're gonna do is I would like some of this in here. Uh, it looks like it's a little bit too long. So what I'm gonna do is clip it off. Oops. 
We're going to clip this off as well. We can leave that over there. Now we'll snip this off. Oops. There we go. All right. So let's find out where we want to put this piece. I'm thinking behind it and then right up in there. There we go. So let's hot glue a little bit. All right, we'll take our cascading bouquet and we're gonna go ahead and put it behind our pieces. So it just hangs a little bit. Now, since I don't like it that actually that long, I'm going to snip off a couple pieces off of the bottom. I need you to stay in or out. I'm busy. You can't come in here. Thank you. Sorry, you guys. My husband keeps interrupting, and I apologize for that. So anyways, so we have this in here, and we have it for our cascading piece. Um, I'd like to see how this looks a little bit above. And then we have some behind. Then we have another piece that we can separate right here. Okay. So there we go. There so far is our cascading bouquet. Um, I do think that's beautiful. I think I'm going to clip off just a little bit more. Okay, let's take a look and see. Yep, that looks very good. Now, yeah. Sorry guys, again, I apologize for that. So anyways, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this cascading, this one's too long. So let's see if I have a shorter one. Yes, I do. So I'm gonna put that one right there. I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue on here. And we're gonna stick it right in there. Okay, that's good. Now we're gonna take another piece and we're gonna place it inside. Hot glue. Now I'd like to put it over here on this side. There we go. And then maybe one right in the middle would look good. I think so, yeah. So we're gonna do one right in the middle. Right up through here. Okay, so there you go. Here so far is our cascading bouquet. Let's take a look at it, you guys. Okay, it looks pretty good so far. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start putting some of these in, which need to be cut. They are too long. Um, let me put my bouquet in something. There we go. There we go. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and cut off some of these pieces that don't need to be on here. Um, they're just a little bit too long for my liking. And especially since I'm going to be coming up on our bouquet, I want it to be shorter. There's one. There's two. There's three. So we're going to go over here. 
So three. Then on top, I have some of these coming out of the top. So I'm just going to clip those off. We don't need those on the top at all. There we go. All right, so here's what we have so far. I think what we'll do now is we're going to take some of these and make them even shorter. Oops, that's all right. I can pick those up once I'm done. They just kind of fall over to the floor here. That's all right. start sticking some of these in here. There we go. Then we will put some over here. There we go. That's all set. So we've got our cascade going on. Now what we're going to do is we're going to build our bouquet. So, oops. I don't want a purple one. I'd actually like a bigger maroon one. See if I can go more under. Let's put some hot glue on here. So we will go right here with it. Okay guys, I'm back. Sorry for the interruption. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bend this flower out. And we're gonna hot glue it. Then we're gonna take our, oh, it looks like I'm losing some stuff here. Okay, so what I found out is that I don't like the flowers to go down that low. So what I'm going to do is snip off part of this and then come back in and have it a little bit shorter than what I had it. So we're going to go underneath here. There we go. There. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. All right. So now let us do, why don't we do a blue one? And let's cut it off because it's obviously too long, but I want to be able to reuse my stem. So I'm going to keep it right there. Then we're going to hot glue. Sorry, if you can't see me here. I'm sorry, off camera. My bad. We're going to glue that right there. Then we're going to pop this in right here and kind of turn it out. 
so you can see the flower. All right, now let's take another big one. Cut it off. All right, now we'll go over on this side. There we go. So we have it like this. All right. Now we're going to, let's take a purple one, a nice light purple. We're going to go ahead and cut this one too. Then we're going to go ahead and stick this in right here. take a smaller red one, clip this off quite a bit, because now what we're going to start doing is we're going to start working up, working our way up towards the top of the bouquet. So we'll go like this. That's beautiful. All right. Now, we're going to take some of these leaves, actually some of these leaves, and we're going to make them even shorter. So if you see these right here, so I've got some short ones already. So now I'm going to go ahead and make the other one short. Actually, we're going to make them even shorter. Even shorter, guys. And one more. All right. So here we have our bouquet. Now what we're going to do is we're going to stick this in right here. Excuse me. Anyways, so right here, we'll stick it right there. Then we're going to take another one. We're going to stick it probably about right here. Here we go. Then another short one. Excuse me. There we go. All right, now we will go ahead and stick this one in over here. So far, this is our cascade. Now we're going to start coming up even shorter start making our actual bouquet bouquet. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this one and stick it kind of over here on the side. So what you want to do, not only do you want it to cascade down the front, you want it to be cascading on the sides as well. So there we go. All right, so now, let us grab some of these eucalyptuses. Now, I'm going to have to stem these, so you're going to do it one second. Okay, guys, so here we have it coming together very very nicely it's hanging beautifully now what we're going to do is we're going to well you know what hold on one second okay guys so here we go so i've got 
these three eucalyptus now um, on their metal strips. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit off and make them shorter. I need it to make it for the um, for the actual top part of the bouquet. So we're going to take this and we're going to take this, stick it in. Then we're going to take one, actually we're going to put one in the middle-ish. Hold on, I did that backwards. There we go. There we go. Now we'll take another one and we will stick it here on the side. And then we will take one more and we will stick it over on this side. There we go. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to short stem some of our flowers. Because the flowers we have are actually too long to go into this bouquet. So we're going to short stem them. Just clipping these right now to make them shorter. So I will put you on pause while I trim all these flowers. Okay guys, so I have all my flowers short stemmed. So I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer and so you can see what I'm doing here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some greenery and we are going to actually snip at this greenery a little bit shorter as well because it is too, um, too tall. I do that. Then if I do this over here, baby's breath. See if I can shorten this one a little bit as well. There we go. Now let's do a flower. Let's do, let's do one of these big ones over here. We'll take some hot glue. We'll put it right on there. See, I just put a little bit of hot glue on it. So then we're gonna bend that in like that. There you go, as you can see. So it's still flowing very, very nicely. There we go, perfect. Now we will set that down. And what we're gonna do is take a pink one, pink carnation. And we're gonna go like this with it. So a lot of these, what I'm doing to them is I'm trimming them shorter because it needs to be shorter, at least for the bouquet, purpose-wise. There we go. Now we'll do a little bit more baby's breath over here. Then we will 
do another flower. We'll do a baby blue one over here on the side. You always want something on the side of your bouquet as well. Um, let me see if I can take you down a little bit so you can see more of what I'm doing. Let's see. So, here we go. Let me just lift it up for you. So then we're going to take one and we're going to put it over here. It looks like I have to trim it a little bit to get it to go in. There we go. That's beautiful. Now we're going to add some more of this right in here because it looks a little plain. And we'll add another flower. Let's do a blue one. Then we'll do one of these. And some baby's breath as well. Let's trim it down. So let's go ahead and stick this baby's breath in here, like so. There we go. That looks gorgeous, just how it is. You see how it's all coming together? Everything's coming together, even on the sides. It's looking very, very beautiful. So now what we'll do is we're going to add some more of this. We are going to add some more baby's breath as soon as I trim it down here. Here we go. So we'll put some right there. Then we're going to take some more. Trim this down. And we're going to put it over here on this side. So everyone can see it there. Oh, and I do have to trim this one down because it is way too long. There we go. Some more baby's breath. Just like so. Now we'll do another maroon flower, just like so, like this. And we're going to put it right in top. Actually, that one's a little short now. So we're going to take this one, and we're going to go right on top, which is perfect. Can you please close the door? Yeah. Thank you. All right. So now what we have, we have some more room for some more flowers and stuff. Flowers and stuff. So that's perfect. Then we'll do a pink carnation right here. Then we're going to take another one of these. We're going to trim this down because it's obviously way too long. Here we go. Just like that on the sides. Then we're going to put this down on the side. We'll have some more baby's breath. So we will stick it right in there, just like so. So far, so good. 
How are you guys liking it? Good so far? I think it looks amazing. So now we're gonna work on this side a little bit over here. So let us go ahead and take, oh, no, let's take a baby's breath. We're gonna stick that right in right there. Then we're gonna take another flower. Let's see if we can trim it down a little bit. It's a little bit long. Okay, so we're gonna stick it right here like so. Whoops, keeps popping out on me over there. Here we go. Actually, before we do that, I'm gonna stick this in over here and I'm gonna put some greenery in right there after I trim it down. So that's gonna go in between the flowers right there. Just like so, perfect. Then we're gonna take some more greenery and we're gonna stick it in right here on the side. Perfect. Then some more baby's breath. We'll take one that's already trimmed down quite a bit. All right. Then we will add some more greenery, which we are going to trim down. here I'm trying to show you guys what this is like up here on my side what I'm doing oops there we go another flower and let's take a pink one there we go just like so that looks gorgeous all right now we're going to take a blue one actually first before we take a blue one what we're going to do is we're going to stick one of these in right here to separate the flower from the other flower. And then we're gonna take a baby's breath, which we're I'm going to trim down. So let's turn this one towards you guys. So we'll stick it in right there. Then we'll take another flower. We'll take a blue one this time like so then we will take one of these plus the baby's breath plus one of these Now we will pick a maroon flower, we'll stick it right there. Like so. We'll take a dark blue one. So I think that looks very, very pretty. But first we have to trim it down because it is too long to go into our bouquet. Alright, so we're over here on this side. Like that. Then we will take 
one of these, which I'm going to trim down. Now what I think what I'll do is take one of these leaves and trim it down. Take another one, trim it down. So we'll just stick it right in here where it fits. All right, now what I will do is take one of these greeneries and stick it right in there. I will also take myself a baby's breath and you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna trim down each baby's breath right now so I have them ready to go into my bouquet one two three four okay and then these leaves as well take another flower and we're going to be putting it right over here on this side. Perfect. Now I would like to stick something right in there so I can see that it's bare. So we don't want a bare bouquet whatsoever. So, so far this looks really, really good. We're going to take one and put it down here. We're going to take a baby's breath and we're going to put it down here. Then let's take another flower and put it down here. Except the flower needs to be trimmed. Which is what I expected. Because I had to trim everything else. So. We're going to go ahead and trim these flowers that are going to be ready to go into our bouquet. this flower down here. Actually, we will take a purple one because I don't have a purple one in here anywhere. There we go. Let's do a baby's breath. That's perfect. We should add one of the, well, not that one. 
We'll add a blue one of these right here. And by golly gee, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have ourselves a cascading bouquet. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some twine and we're gonna wrap it around here. So hold on one second while I grab the twine. Okay, so what we're gonna do, ladies and gentlemen, is we have this showing on the underside and we don't want to. So we have the sides nice. They're nice and full. So if you wanna cradle it like on your side and your arm, it would look okay either which way. Um, you could cradle it any way you wanted to this way or you could just hold it on to you like this. Um, it doesn't matter. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this with twine. Now when it comes to wrapping it with twine, actually what I want to do first, I want to put some leaves down there because when you put these big leaves down at the bottom, it kind of gives you an opportunity to hide the um, the actual white piece that you're looking at. So I think this is gonna work out perfect, actually. And there goes the metal wires flying to my floor, which I'm gonna end up having to clean after, of course. So, let's see. So we can put some of these in here. All right, so now that we have this done, now we have the white right there that we have to hide. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some twine and we're just gonna wrap it around. So first comes first, we're gonna put some hot glue down onto where I'm wire wrapping it. Not wire wrapping, I'm sorry, twine wrapping, I should say. So I'm just wrapping it up. So I'll put you on pause while I wrap it. Okay guys, so there you have it. Here is your cascading wedding bouquet. Take a look at it. Isn't it gorgeous? It looks absolutely wonderful. I'm very, very happy with it. Very happy with it. I'm thinking I might want to add, no, maybe not. I think that's good. Unless I added one or two more flowers right there. Hold on, let me see if I want to or not. 
Okay guys, so I do want to add something to it. I just added this uh, light blue flower right here on the end. And then I also want to add in this flower right here. I just need to find a spot for it. There we go. Get that stringy glue off of there that I just touched. And it's hanging. There we go. However, it's still on my fingers. All right. So there's that. Just to kind of transition it better into what we're making here, I think I want to add another one, probably right, right around here. Um, it's going to be a beige one. So let's take our hot glue gun. Let's put a little glue on the end. And then let's poke it through our flower. There we go. And then let's see what this looks like. If I go like this, and I kind of poke it in. Okay, so I do think that looks quite a bit better. Just by adding a few simple flowers, it really makes a difference. Um, I'm also gonna add one right here because it looks a little bare to me right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a maroon one. Nope, I'm gonna add a blue one. With our hot glue gun. We'll stick it into our flower just like that. All right, let's see. If I hold it like this, and I come in through the side. There we go. So I added that onto the side there. So I think that looks a lot better. Just trying to get the glue off my hand right now, actually. So there we go. I think it looks amazing, guys. What do you think? What do you think? Make sure you hit the subscribe, the bell button, if you'd like to see more videos of me making any kind of flower arrangements. Or I also do resin art, so you can hit the subscribe button for that and you'll be seeing resin art along with me making solar wood flower bouquets. I do both things, so I really enjoy doing these flower bouquets, um, especially the cascading bouquet. It's actually my first cascading bouquet that I've ever done. So please, um, any comments would help. Let me know what you think. Um, but that's about it. So there's my cascading bouquet. Everybody have a great day, and I'll see you on my next tutorial. Bye for now.